God says, When you enter a house, reside there until you leave. Should they reject you, shake the dust from your feet, a testament against the rejection. Understand, defilement does not originate from external sources, but springs from within the heart's content, shapes a person's nature. Should you have perceptive ears, then heedness, but where the hypocrisy of the Pharisees inherits, follow me. Let go of self and shoulder your cross daily. Whoever believes has boundless possibilities. Forbid not those who perform miracles in my name, for they cannot subtly malign me. Whoever is not against us is for us. A cup of water given in my name shall not go unrewarded. If your hand tempts you, sever it. It is superior to enter life maimed and face unquenchable fire. If your foot ensnares you, amputate it. Life lame is preferable to fiery damnation. Should your eye lead to sin, pluck it out. One-eyed in the kingdom surpasses two-eyed in hellfire. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and unto God what is God's. The foremost commandment, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord. Love him wholeheartedly. The second, akin to it, love your neighbour as yourself. Beware of ostentatious teachers of the law who seek honour but hide deceit. They devour the vulnerable, masking their greed with lengthy prayers. Guard against deception, for many will falsely claim my name, seeking to mislead. Amidst wars and turmoil, remain untroubled, for these are precursors, not the end. Guard yourselves, for you will be brought before authorities for my sake. The gospel must span nations. When detained, let the Spirit speak through you. Refrain from premeditation, for in that moment the Holy Spirit will guide. When the abomination of desolation emerges, flee to safety. To those who proclaim the Messiah's arrival, don't be misled to conclude heedlessness by his return. Timing is unrevealed. Stay alert, for the Son of Man comes at an unforeseen hour. Feel free to let me know if you require any further modifications, or if there's anything else I can assist you with. 1 Corinthians 9.24 teaches us, Do you not know that in a race all the runners compete, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. As you run the race in God's kingdom, do so with unwavering faith. Keep your gaze fixed above, where unimaginable greatness awaits, a promise from Him. Remember, love doesn't follow a first-come, first-serve approach. Trust that God will unite you with your soulmate regardless of circumstances. It's vital not to invest your time and affection in the wrong individuals. In the words of 1 Peter, cast all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you. God, in his perfect timing, will lead you to your future spouse, just as he guided Ruth and Boaz, Isaac and Rebekah, and Abraham and Sarah. He'll fortify your bond against trials of patience and loyalty. God's blessings flow from your demonstrated patience. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.